Ever wondered what would happen if a U.S. state was dominated by libertarians? Welcome to New Hampshire, the home of the Free State Project. Libertarianism, a political philosophy that emphasizes freedom, liberty, and voluntary association, has always sparked lively debates. But what if we could see it in action, on a large scale? Enter the Free State Project, an experiment in living libertarian principles. New Hampshire, known for its live free or die motto, was chosen as the ideal location for the social experiment. The Free State Project invites libertarians and freedom-loving people to move to New Hampshire in the hope of creating a stronghold for libertarian ideals. The aim? To reduce government interference and promote individual liberties, a place where the market rules, where personal freedom is paramount, and where the government's role is minimal. But how did this project come about? Who initiated it and why? These are questions we'll explore as we delve deeper. Now let's dive into the origins of this fascinating project. The Free State Project didn't just spring up overnight, its roots trace back to an essay written in 2001. The seed for the Free State Project was planted by a Yale doctoral student named Jason Sorens. In his essay, Announcement, the Free State Project, Sorens proposed a rather audacious idea. He envisioned a libertarian utopia, a place where individuals could live free of government interference. But for this dream to take root, he knew it needed a suitable location. And that's where the concept of the Free State Project truly began to take shape. Soren suggested that 20,000 or more liberty-loving individuals should migrate to a single U.S. state. There, they could work to reduce the size and scope of government and truly live as they saw fit. But which state would be the most suitable? To answer this, a voting process was initiated. Several states were considered, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Factors like population size, tax policies, and existing political climate were all taken into account. The goal was to find a state where the arrival of 20,000 libertarian-minded individuals could make a real impact. After a careful deliberation, the choice was clear. New Hampshire, with its low population and inherent libertarian tendencies, was the ideal candidate. The state's motto, live free or die, resonated with the principles of the project. Additionally, New Hampshire's existing political and social climate was favorable for fostering libertarian ideals. It was a state where the seeds of liberty could take root and flourish. The selection of New Hampshire also made strategic sense. It was small enough for a concentrated group to make a significant impact, yet large enough to accommodate the influx of new residents. And so, New Hampshire became the chosen ground for this political experiment. The stage was set for the Free State Project to move from theory to reality, marking the beginning of an ambitious journey towards a libertarian utopia. With a state chosen, it was time for supporters to make the move and begin the Free State Project. The journey towards libertarian ideals was not going to be a walk in the park, but rather a marathon of persistence and dedication. The first step in this marathon was the signing of a pledge, a promise to move to New Hampshire and work tirelessly towards the realization of a society that prioritizes minimal government and maximum personal freedom. The pledge was not a mere formality. It was a symbol of commitment, a clear declaration of intent. Supporters were not just signing a piece of paper, they were signing up for a shared vision and a collective mission. This pledge was the passport to a new life in the Granite State, a life dedicated to the pursuit of libertarian ideals. But the transition wasn't as swift as one might think. The journey from pledge to migration was slow and gradual. The initial trickle of migrants was barely noticeable. The project didn't make much of a splash in its early days. But as the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. Despite the slow start, the Free State Project was far from a lost cause. The initial wave of migrants was followed by a steady increase in the number of supporters making the move. The Free State Project was gaining traction. More and more supporters were packing up their lives and heading for the rolling hills and scenic beauty of New Hampshire. The dream was slowly but surely becoming a reality. The migration was more than a physical journey. It was a journey of transformation. Supporters were not just moving to a new state, they were moving towards a new way of life, a life centered around libertarian principles. The Free State Project was not just about changing the geographical coordinates of one's residence, it was about changing the political, social, and economic coordinates of one's existence. The Free State Project was gaining momentum, but not without its challenges. The road to libertarianism was paved with obstacles, 
but the spirit of the Free State Project was resilient, the migration had begun, and there was no turning back. The Free State Project was on its way to making a mark in the annals of libertarian history. Like any radical initiative, the Free State Project faced its fair share of opposition. Indeed, charting a path towards a more libertarian society was no walk in the park. The Free State Project was met with resistance from various quarters, most notably from some locals who were not entirely sold on the idea. For some, the sudden influx of libertarians into their quiet, unassuming state was a cause for concern. They feared that this wave of newcomers would disrupt the social fabric and tilt the political balance in a direction they were not comfortable with. The Free State Project also grappled with legal challenges. The project's goal to influence local politics and policies to align with libertarian values was seen by some as a threat to the existing democratic process. There were allegations of voter manipulation, given the project's strategic migration to swing the vote in their favor. On top of this, controversies were not in short supply. One notable instance was when some members of the project were accused of tax evasion. The libertarian principle of minimal government interference was misunderstood by some as an endorsement of tax avoidance, leading to legal repercussions and negative publicity. And then there were the internal conflicts within the project. Not all libertarians agreed on the same interpretation of libertarian principles, leading to disagreements and divisions. Some were more radical in their approach, advocating for complete non-interference of the government, while others favored a more moderate approach, recognizing the need for some level of government regulation. In the face of these challenges, the Free State Project had its work cut out for it. It needed to dispel misconceptions about libertarianism, foster unity among its members, and build bridges with the local community. It had to navigate the legal landscape while staying true to its principles and maintaining the momentum of the project. But here's the thing about challenges. They are also opportunities for growth. The Free State Project, while navigating these hurdles, was able to refine its mission and approach. These trials helped the project to evolve, to adapt, and ultimately, to persevere. Despite the challenges, the Free State Project continued on its path, leading to some significant achievements. The Free State Project has undoubtedly left its mark on New Hampshire. This initiative, rooted in the principles of libertarianism, has transformed the political landscape of the Granite State in ways we could have hardly imagined. The achievements of the Free State Project are numerous and far-reaching. One of the most significant outcomes has been the surge in libertarian representation within the state legislature. The project's vision of a society where maximum freedom is enjoyed by all, with minimal government intervention, has resonated with many in New Hampshire. This has led to the election of several Free State Project participants to state office, creating a strong libertarian voice within the state's political machine. But it's not just about numbers. The influence of the Free State Project extends beyond the halls of the legislature. It can be seen in the policies and legislation that have been shaped by libertarian ideals. From the reduction in state spending to the decriminalization of certain victimless crimes, the fingerprints of the Free State Project are evident in the state's approach to governance. Moreover, the project has also facilitated a vibrant and engaged community of libertarians. It has become a beacon for those who share a belief in personal freedom, limited government, and non-aggression. This community continues to grow, fostering an environment of intellectual exchange and mutual support. The Free State Project, in its pursuit of libertarian ideals, has also inspired similar movements across the country. It has shown that with a concerted effort and a shared vision, it is possible to affect real, tangible change within a political system. While the Free State Project may have faced its share of challenges, its achievements cannot be understated. It has left an indelible mark on New Hampshire, shaping its political terrain and contributing to a broader national conversation about the role of government in society. These achievements paint a picture of the potential influence of libertarianism when given a platform. The Free State Project serves as a testament to the power of ideas, the importance of community, and the enduring appeal of freedom. The Free State Project is a unique experiment in libertarianism. Born out of a vision to establish a haven for libertarians, it's rooted in the belief that less government intervention leads to greater individual freedoms and prosperity. The journey hasn't been without its hurdles. The project faced numerous pushbacks, both from within New Hampshire and beyond, as it challenged traditional views on governance. Yet, the Free State Project persevered, and its achievements are notable. 
it has attracted thousands of libertarians to New Hampshire, influencing local politics and policies. The project has also inspired similar initiatives elsewhere, reflecting its impact beyond the borders of the Granite State. The Free State Project serves as a compelling testament to the power of ideas and the determination of individuals who believe in them. Whether you agree with their ideology or not, it's undeniable that the Free State Project has left a lasting impact on New Hampshire and sparked a fascinating conversation about the role of government in society.